This training module explains how to fit wet cylinder liners. It is described which preparations have to be done and which tools are needed. Useful installation tips make the insertion of the cylinder liner easier. For the preparation and the fitment, the following tools are needed. Internal measuring instrument, dial gauge with holder, caliper, straight edge and some dye ink. For cleaning the surface, you have to use a brake cleaner and a fine abrasive paper. Before fitting the liners, the engine block has to be checked. Therefore, the entire engine block is checked by visual inspection. The assessment of damage and corrosion on the ceiling surface and on the engine block provides information whether it needs to be reworked. The inspection of the engine block ceiling surface with a straight edge should indicate existing distortions. During the fitment of the cylinder liners, pay attention to the cleanness of the engine block and the flatness of the flange seat. For a correct fitment of the new liner, you have to ensure that the surface is flat, as shown on the graph. If this is not the case, the flange seat has to be reworked. To check the flatness, a dye ink can be used. Another important point is the assessment of the ceiling ring grooves in the engine block. To achieve a perfect ceiling, they have to be perfectly cleaned and free of corrosion. The ceiling ring grooves, which are worn or become sharp due to engraving, have to be reworked. At the new liner, the diameter and the flange height of cylinder liner should be controlled and compared with the catalog data. Now, if applied, the tombeck ring will be inserted dry and the liner will be fitted into the engine block. The cylinder liner is then tightened with screws and sleeves. Now the protrusion will be checked with a gauge mounted on a stand or gauge holder and compared with the engine manufacturer data. Caution! The protrusion is not allowed to be adjusted by shims. If the protrusion is too low, a cylinder liner with oversized flange should be used. Before removing the cylinder liner, the exact position of the socket is marked on the engine block. Inserting the ceiling rings. Now the ceiling rings are fitted dry in their position into the prepared grooves, as shown on the packaging. For some manufacturers, the ceiling rings can also be fitted directly to the cylinder liner. The use of liquid sealants while liner fitment is not recommended. Now the enclosed sliding paste is applied onto the O-rings. The remains are distributed evenly on the contact surfaces of the cylinder liner. You shouldn't use oils or acid containing fats, because they may damage the O-rings. Now the cylinder liner is inserted with a steady motion into the engine block. It is to ensure that the marks on the engine block match with the cylinder liner. For the final check, the inner diameter of the cylinder liner in the range of the O-ring seats is checked by an internal measure. If a narrowing is determined at this point, it may mean that the O-rings are not seated correctly in the grooves and that they have twisted or slipped out during the insertion of the cylinder liner. For further product and service information, please visit our website msmotorservice.com.